New York City Transit is expanding service for the first time since the pandemic on the heels of concerning violent attacks against strap hangers, hoping that extended hours may calm a recent spike in transit crime and signal a return to normalcy. Changing the hours is, is good for crime, but maybe not for the homeless population who uses it to sleep on the cars. People who don't have shelter got to find something while it's cold outside, right? So there is a big problem there. I'm not sure what the solution is. Uh, I guess they will go to the subway that, if that's the only warm place they can find, right? Yeah. Uh, at the same time, that can generate problems. Just this weekend, on Saturday, along the sea line near 116th Street, a two-year-old was punched by a woman around 3 p.m. The New York Post reports it was an aggressive panhandler aiming to strike the child's 21-year-old mother after the mother asked the suspect to keep her distance. Then around noon Sunday, a 32-year-old man was stabbed on the left hip and hand on the two train near 110th and Lenox, where police have stepped up patrols. Yeah, I've had a couple creepy incidents like gropings and stuff like that. Subway service had initially closed between the hours of 1 and 5 a.m for deep cleaning and because of reduced ridership. Now the subway will only be closed from 2 to 4 a.m. The deep cleaning will continue. But there's concern among New Yorkers about whether they can feel safe taking the subway at all. Many still reeling following this month's stabbing spree. Just last weekend, the man dubbed the subway slasher targeted four homeless people along the A subway line in a senseless stabbing spree, killing two. I know that police officers are doing what they can but obviously it's not enough. If, if women and children can't feel safe, then who can? An MTA spokesperson tells me that the extended hours actually begin tonight because by the time it's 1 a.m. it will already be Monday. So tonight the subways will be closing at 2 a.m. and reopening at 4 a.m. tomorrow.